Hey there, and thanks for watching. So in this Watch Me Build video, I'm going to be creating a custom GPT to analyze industrial offering memoranda for me. Now, if you're unfamiliar with custom GPTs, this is a feature within OpenAI's ChatGPT Plus, Teams or Enterprise. Those are, at least as of Q2 2024, the uh, premium versions of chat GPT. And what these custom GPTs allow you to do is essentially create bespoke tools specific to tasks that you may perform. And this particular task is digesting an OM. So think about it this way. Uh, you are part of an, an industrial acquisitions team. You're receiving dozens of offering memoranda every single week. And you need a way to quickly identify whether an OM or a deal fits, say, an investment criteria that you have. So rather than manually opening, spending uh, the few minutes to read the OM, you could simply feed it to your custom GPT and it would extract the information that's necessary for you to assess whether the deal is worth spending more time on. And then it can also get started in the underwriting process. So that's what we're gonna spend the next few minutes doing. Now, if you don't have a premium member, membership of ChatGPT, this will be interesting to watch, but you won't necessarily be able to replicate. If you do, uh, go ahead, open, or go to chat.openai.com. In the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna click Explore GPTs. Here, Explore GPTs. And this will open, uh, again, as of April, 2024. This is changing constantly, so yours may look different depending on what point in time you are. You're going to see the GPT store. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see the My GPTs, which is a list of every GPT you've built. Or you can click this Create button. That's what we're going to do. So this now opens the GPT configuration uh, tool. And there's two options. You can either use a uh, really a chat prompt to build your GPT or you can configure, and my preference is to configure it manually. And the reason why, at least as of today, I haven't found this chat tool, tool to be particularly useful, and so configuring it is really the way to go. We start by naming it. I'm gonna name this Industrial OM Analyzer. And I'll make this uh, GPT public, so if you have, again, ChatGPT Plus, you'll be able to come in and at least use this custom GPT. Then we have some description. I'm going to leave that description blank for now. And we'll come back. Then we have instructions. Now, there's a lot of capability in this, in custom GPTs that I, we won't necessarily use in this case. In this case, we're simply going to provide instructions that customizes uh, Chat GPT for this specific use case, analyzing industrial OMs. And so I'll, I'll mouse into this instructions. I'm going to click this expand button and it asks, what does this GPT do? How does it behave? What should it avoid? Now to save us time here, I have already uh, produced the text for this instructions. And the text follows uh, the typical prompt engineering process you would go through with a standard chat GPT or any LLM, Gemini, Claude, uh, any of these LLMs, as you prompt them, there's some engineering to that prompt. And we like to use the Rhodes framework, role, objective, details, examples, and sense check. That's that Rhodes, R-O-D-E-S framework. And you'll find that when you create a custom GPT, the instructions at least generally follow that framework. And so in this case, I'm gonna start with a role. And the role is you are a real estate analyst. You are trained to read commercial real estate offering memorandum for industrial properties, extract key information necessary to make investment decisions, and then present that information in a standardized way. Okay. Uh, you should keep a professional tone, only use present information contained within data provided to you and ask questions of the user when you lack information. So that's the role and a bit of the objective. Okay, the objective again is to extract key information and present that in a standardized way. Uh, we then get into the instructions. This I would, I would say would be the details in that Rhodes framework. 
And the details start as follows. First, you will ask me to upload the OM or offering memorandum for the deal you will be analyzing and what my investment criteria is. So the very first thing this GPT is going to do, it's gonna ask us for the OM and ask us what, the, what our investment criteria is. Once I have uploaded the OM and provided my investment criteria, you will go one page at a time and extract the following information. And so then what I've done, and again, this is for industrial properties, is I have identified the key pieces of information that I want to extract from this document in order to understand whether I want to move forward or not. And really, this list could be longer or shorter depending on your use case. In this case, I'm going to ask it for the industrial subtype, and I have a list of subtypes that are consistent with CoStar. I ask for the address, including city and state, let's say that. Uh, I have the broker company and broker name. I'm going to update that, and then I'll say broker contact information. And why did I include the broker contact information? Because I may use this then to reach back out with questions I have. Then the asking price, in-place net operating income, and asking cap rate. Now notice I, I put it all in one row, and that is because uh, the, this is the key information I need to understand. What's the price? What's the asking cap? If there is an asking cap, there may not be a price. There may not be an asking cap, but there almost certainly will be a net operating income. And those three things will help me gauge whether the opportunity is too small or too big, uh, fits within my yield criteria and so forth. Then I ask for land area in acres, year built and year renovated, building size in square feet, and if multiple buildings list each building size, is, each building size separately, if applicable, whether cross-docked or, or, cross or rear-loaded, Clear height, column spacing, number of dock doors, and I should say number of dock doors, and let's say clear height in feet and column spacing in feet. Number of trailer parking stalls, I can just use the number of, number of tenants, uh, details of the rent schedule in a table with the following columns. Each tenant is a separate row. And then I just want a basic rent schedule, tenant name, square feet, annual rent per square foot, lease start and lease end date. And then general description of the property and other key facts that you think are relevant. And this is an opportunity for the GP to extract pieces of information that may be relevant here. Uh, so let's say it's industrial outdoor storage. I would hope that it would say that it has this type of fencing. Uh, I may have two entrances or one, right? So uh, those are the key pieces of information that I wanted to extract. And then I provide these instructions. With the OM information and understanding my investment, finish by writing an executive summary of the investment. Actually, um, uh, once you've extracted, oops, extract that information, ask if there's anything further you'd like me to add. So it will just check in with us before it then finishes with, with the OM information and understanding my investment criteria, finish by writing an executive summary of the investment opportunity. Include in the executive summary whether the investment fits our, and fits our investment, our current investment criteria or not. Finish by creating a six slide power presentation of the opportunity. And this is just going to highlight some of the capability. So it's going to finish um, by not only writing this executive summary, but then by creating a PowerPoint presentation. Um, so those are my instructions. And the description is analyze information in an industrial Offering memorandum and confirm whether it fits uh, my investment criteria. Now then, then the custom GPT needs some conversation starters. Now while, before I do that, 
I'm just going to click here. It's going to need a thumbnail. We'll click use Dolly and it's just going to produce an image while we're creating conversation starters. So then these are prompts to the user to help them understand how to get started. And so that would be uh, analyze my OM. Um, does this fit my investment criteria? Now, because of the instructions that we provided to this GPT, these conversation starters don't mean a lot. It's more, again, meant to help the user understand how to work with uh, this GPT. Um, also, we can add knowledge. So, for instance, let's imagine that we wanted more structured information. Let's say that not only did we have industrial subtypes, but maybe we had every city or every metro area in the United States or um, uh, you know, specific names for uh, or descriptions for you know, different types of docs, for instance. Uh, we could actually upload files that would, would include um, maybe a catalog of these sorts of things. Or, um, so anyway, you can upload, I think it's up to 20 files as of right now, and that, that functionality will change over time. And those files will be downloaded by, and if we come here, you, you're going to select the capabilities. I'm going to include Code Interpreter, which allows this GPT to run code, write its own code and run code. Also, if you want to get uh, go, go to the next level, you can create actions. Uh, connect, say, your GPT to a APIs or to external databases. Uh, maybe you have your own, um, I don't know, it, for instance, you might have your own industrial sales comp database. And part of this GPT might be to spit out an estimated value, estimated cap rate for this based on some comps that you have here. And they could actually do that. Uh, you would either you would upload your database as a file, or you could connect it through, say, an API through these actions. Let your GPT retrieve information or take out actions outside of ChatGPT. In this case, we don't need that. So we have now completed our GPT, and I'm going to click up here, create. And once I do create, I have the option to share this or not. Now. We at ACRE have a ChatGPT Teams membership, which means that all of us are part of a team. And I can share this with members of the team. So some of you may know Arturo. And so I can share this with Arturo on our team. Uh, in this case, though, I'm just going to, going to make this anyone with a link. I could publish it to the GPT store if I wanted to, say, try to monetize this GPT. I'm just going to say anyone with a link can access this GPT uh, and they can chat with it. Now, again, on the teams, if I were to say, uh, share this with a member of my team, I can actually choose to allow them to see the configuration as well and edit the GPT. So with the GPT now updated, anyone with the link having access to it, and I'll share a link of uh, to this GPT so you can try it yourself. I'm gonna click view the GPT. And now here we are, it says again, Got our, our thumbnail, industrial OM analyzer. And I'll just start by saying, help. Okay, you can really say anything. It, sound, it says, it sounds like you're in need of assistance with analyzing a commercial real estate offering memorandum for an industrial property. I'm here to help you with that. Could you please upload the OM you'd like me to analyze and share your investment criteria? This will help me provide you with the most relevant information. So I'm gonna first say, uh, we invest in uh, warehouse and distribution centers in growing metro air, metro areas of the United States. Um, generally, we uh, only uh, invest in assets larger than, let's say, ten million. And then I just went and Googled industrial offering memorandum PDF. And there's a whole bunch of offering memorandum that, that people have posted to the internet and are therefore publicly available. Now, whether they intended for those to be publicly available or not is on them, but any of us can go Google uh, industrial offering memorandum PDF and you'll find 
a OM. And so I went ahead and did that. And I found this OM and I feed it. Now what it's going to do is it's going to read the OM and it's going to extract the key details that I asked for. So based on the offering memorandum you provide in your investment criteria, here is the summary. It's a warehouse or distribution center in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, asking price, $4 million. In place net operating income, 330000 Cap rate of 827, land area this. Year build not specified. Uh, building size, 31,620. Uh, clear height, column spacing, number of dock doors, trailer park installs not specified. Uh, there are 12 tenants. The rent schedule includes companies like Fox, Rent-A-Car, Royal Restrooms, Mountain West, U.S. Custom Builders. And then it says, given your criteria of investing in warehouse and distribution centers and growing metro with a minimum investment size of 10 million, this property falls short of the minimum investment size. However, its location in Salt Lake City, a growing metro, and its status as a warehouse distribution center might still make it an interesting project prospect if the smaller investment size can be accommodated. And then it says, would you like any further details? And I'd say, no, further details. And now it's going to write the summary, executive summary. Investment opportunity presents a multi-tenant industrial property. Gives the price. Strategic location, growth potential, market positioning, investment con uh, considerations. Uh, and then given the property's potential for value at opportunity, strategic location and growing metro, it presents an intriguing investment opportunity. However, it's lower than preferred investment size and necessitates a strategic consideration of the portfolio and fit and long-term investment objectives. Then it creates, it's creating this slide deck. Now it first asks, are these the slides that you would like? I'll say, yes, go ahead. So it's gonna create a PowerPoint presentation now with an introduction slide, property details slide, financial overview slide, tenant overview slide, market overview slide, and conclusion slide. It got hung up a little bit. So here's the code that writing, in fact, it has uh, each of the slides. I'll hide that again. So it is building the PowerPoint presentation. And it's finished. It gives us a link. And we're, you're going to laugh at the formatting. It's not great, uh, but investment opportunity. And so it created this PowerPoint presentation for us. So that was a watch me build a custom GPT using chat GPT's uh, GPT feature. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Otherwise, thanks for your time.